In Onshape, you can use the Revolve tool to add or remove material about an axis of revolution in your part studio. Here I have a sketch. It's got a bunch of overlapping entities. And also I have a few different construction lines that I will use as the axis of revolution. To start off, I will select a face. And then from the right mouse button, I can choose the Revolve command. We get the dialog box. You can create solid geometry or non-solid surfaces. You can create a brand new part and you can add and remove material from your model. In another video, I will show the intersect option. Here we have the collector for the faces and sketch regions to revolve. I'm going to select an additional one here. And now we're going to pick our revolve axis. Let me click in the collector. And I'm going to start off by selecting this axis of revolution. You can see the preview of the geometry that we get. Let's take a look at what happens if we use different axes of revolution. I'm going to use the X in order to remove my first selection. And then let's pick this axis instead. You can see that we get a different result. And once again, let's remove the previous selection and then pick this one instead. And again, a much different result. Now let's go back to what we had originally, pick this one. I'm happy with that. And then we have a drop down list where you can choose the angle. The default is full, in other words, 360 degrees. You also have the options for one direction, symmetric, which I'll use later, and two directions. I'm happy with the geometry. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete the first feature. Now I'm going to create another revolve. This time I will use the command from the ribbon and let's select our first face. And I'm going to zoom in and grab a second face over here. And right now this is going to create a brand new part. And let's choose for our revolve axis. Instead of picking a construction line, you also have the ability to select a mate connector. And this mate connector can be created on the fly. I will click on the icon and let's get our correct mate connector. And this automatically switched over to adding material to part one, but I actually want this to be a separate part. So let's go back and choose the new option and that will create our part two. That's good. Let's hit the check mark for this one. And now I want to put in some geometry for a key so that the first part will drive the second part. So to make things easy on myself, let's hide part two for a moment. And now I will zoom in and select the face that I want to use and then right mouse button and revolve. And for the revolve axis, I will click in the collector and then pick my construction line. And by default, this is going to be a full revolution, but I don't want it to be full. I just want it to be partial. And in this case, I want it to be symmetric. And it's giving us a 30 degree angle by default. I'm going to change that to a value of 15. My merge scope is part one. That's correct. That's what I want. Let's hit the check mark in order to complete revolve three. And now let's bring back part two and let's create another revolve. I'll use the icon from the toolbar this time and I will right mouse click and hold and let's choose. Oops, I was in the wrong position. Let me move up here. I will right mouse click and hold up here and choose select other so that I can use this in order to get the face that I want face of sketch one. That's good. And for my revolve axis, Let's pick the construction axis and I don't want this to be full. I want this to be symmetric and 15 degrees. But this time this should remove material and for the merge scope, I want it to remove from the second part and now I can hit the check mark. And so that way I have a matching key between part one and part two. So there you see a few different ways of creating the revolve feature in Onshape.